is this, would this intervention need to be done really early on with transmission of HIV? Yes, so one approach is early on to eliminate the cells that will be in the reservoir. One approach that actually will apply to all the people living with HIV is to do the intervention together with stopping antiretroviral therapy. So when the virus will rebound, now if your immune system is ready to fight it, we believe that can be sufficient to control the rebound. Fantastic. And, and what sorts of things are you looking at specifically for the second strategy? We just published a study just accepted on nature immunology in which we have been using Q antibody that has been generated largely for cancer because they block the negative regulator of the immune system. So when you have a virus or antigen, for example for cancer, the immune system gets activated to eliminate this antigen. But to think about, for example, flu, right? After a few days you clear the flu so your immune system go back to a, to a resting state. <laughs> you don't want your immune system always being activated because that may be associated with side effects. For example, autoimmune disease. There's been uh, some markers that are upregulated to bring your immune system back to a resting state. So with HIV and with cancer, what people are trying to do, and with cancer this is now in, in clinic, as many people have been treated with this, is that you block this negative regulator of the immune system. So your immune system is now keeping fighting in that case the cancer and for HIV we are trying to do this to keep fighting the cells that express the virus.